All right, so we're going to do this crack me real quick. Um, the crack me pretty much goes like this. You can you have like one choice of a serial number, and then you have to put some kind of a confirmation code in. It's called crack this. Um, like I said, I just put code in like whatever. I click match. It says sorry, try more. So we didn't get in. So the way I'm going to tackle this, which um, this is a, a really kind of a cool little trick, is to be at this box here and then hit the pause button on the debugger. So now we've paused the program and then we go to debug and then we say run to user code. And what this is, is because there's sort of a disconnect when you're dealing with a program like this where if you don't hit run to user code, then the program or the debugger won't really engage when a user clicks on buttons or enters text. And that's the part where we need to find out. We need to find out where this part is. So as I click OK here now, it's going to take us close to the logic that is controlling the, the magic, basically. So as I did that, I'm seeing VBA free var list, free string list, object list. So I'm just going to look around this area. So this is the this is the message box uh, code right here. And then here we go. Here's the sorry try more. And I see another message box. Sorry try more. Sorry try more. So I'm guessing that the logic which controls this stuff is somewhere. See, okay, so. Now I'm seeing that there is a string compare function. There's two string compare functions up here. So very, very likely that these string compare functions are what's checking for the proper code, right? And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to place a breakpoint. Probably like right here. And then I'm going to see what happens. So I'm going to run this and then see what happens now. So I'm going to put in some garbage for the password and click match. And boom, sure enough, check this out. So we are right here at this breakpoint and Sure enough, right here, we're moving uh, base pointer minus 1C into ECX, which is the reference to that text garbage. So our text that we entered is, at this point, being stored in the base pointer minus 1C. So if you really want to get technical, base pointer is at 18F460. And here we go right here. So so uh, base base point is at 18F460, like I said, right here. And then subtract 1C from that takes you up to here. And lo and behold, check it out. So what I'm going to do now is step this a little bit and see what it's being compared to. Oh, looks like it's being compared to this right here. The string qwe dash hyt dash yer. So let's jot that down. Let's start up another notepad. qwe dash hyt dash yer. And let's just keep going just in case that's not it for some reason or there's something else going on here. Mm, this is our main code in the application. All right, so I'm just going to run this 
I'm going to keep going until I actually see the denial message so that I know what logic is causing the denial message. Okay, here's a jump. So let's take this jump, see what happens. Okay, so that was it. You see how sorry try more just popped in here. So what's going on is this box here probably is the congratulations message. We jumped over it due to the comparison right here due to what we entered in the box. So what I'm going to do here is put a breakpoint right here and then go back around. So I'm going to run this thing. Yeah, sorry, try more. So I'm going to run. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do just for the hell of it is um, is go to that notepad and copy and paste this in there and see if this is even it. And I'm just going to run through, straight through. Okay, you are a best cracker. Yes. Okay, so that was it. <laughs> So now, let's say we just want to be able to do that without even having to put the code in and just always be right. Let's go back around one more time. And let's just screw it. So we're not going to put the right code in. We're going to put some crap in again. And we're going to hit match and see the code's not correct. But this time, we're going to run to that next breakpoint, which is right here. And we have a couple options we could do here. First option we could do is we could actually just remove this instruction. Um, we could do so by right-clicking and nopping it out by doing fill with nops. That's one option. The other option is just to go in here, which is that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to do the second option. Second option is, um, so as it says, the jump's going to be taken. However, we could just not take the jump by changing the zero flag from one to zero. Now it says jump is not taken, and we just slide right into the success message. Boom. Just like that. Boom, 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 done. So... Now I'm going to go back around one more time. We're going to just put garbage back in there again. And we're going to do the other option. Let's see what happens. So other option is go down here. Knock this guy out. So this logic, all it's saying is if those two numbers are equal to, to jump somewhere else. So we don't want to ever jump to that other place because we don't ever want to fail. So what we'll do is we'll do a binary patch here. Fill it with knops to so now that just doesn't exist anymore so we'll just run it all the way through again and once again we got you are our best cracker so now if we really want to all we'd have to do is hit the patches button and we just apply two patches and we could we could click uh patch file and then just save this thing as a as its own secondary file and every time we run it we'll just automatically get the success message. So that was a crack me. That crack me actually um, had me going for a little while because it had been a while since I had dealt with uh, a GUI one. So I had forgotten about that option to basically run into user entry. So I kept struggling to stop the program in the proper spot in order to find this logic. And one of the real easy ways of doing this is, for example, just simply searching. So let's say, um, well, it won't do it anymore because I passed it now, but let's say we needed to get to the message, right? So let's say we want to get to you are a best cracker. Well, what we could do is we could right click and we could search for the current module and search for string references. Now, the thing is, is this binary doesn't have it. So this is not that easy because the real easy way would be if you saw you are the best cracker in here, then we could just reference that, see where that, that, text is being referenced in the code and that would take us straight to the logic 
to um, solve the crack bait, basically. However, this one's not that easy. It doesn't have... That, that string is not present here. So I did... That's the first thing I did. And then uh, I did a few other things, too, where I basically went in and I searched dynamic memory. I did like a almost like a dump. I used process hacker, which I probably didn't need to do, but I did that and I searched for the message. So that would be equivalent basically to going to memory map, hitting control B, and then typing in here, you are a best. And then searching the entire block, hitting OK. So bam, so we actually found it here. And so um, I looked for the pattern you are a best in Unicode. And then what we could do here is we could actually place hardware breakpoints on access on this memory and try to f find out where it's referenced. And then from there, we could try to find the logic. So I, I did a follow and dump, and then you could see here this is actually the text you are a best cracker. So what I mean by placing a hard hardware breakpoint is we could do uh, we could shift click this word here, right click breakpoint hardware access word, and then anytime we run the program and this memory is referenced, then we will be able to trace back and see where it's referenced from. But that's a little bit more of a tedious way. So anyway, I'm going to finish this video up right now. Apologize for being a little bit slow. I'm pretty tired. It's past 3 a.m. and I've been reversing for like 14 hours. <laughs> so, All right, guys.